two vertical metal plates. Now let's draw a picture of that. Whoosh, there's one. Uh, an electric. And we don't know, oh, we don't know their distance. Okay, so delta R is equal to question mark. Okay, there's an electric field of 560 volts per meter to the right. Okay, so that means, by the way, that this side is the positive side, this side is the negative side. Because what would positive charge do? Positive charge would go away from the positive toward the negative. So if the electric field's to the right, we know that this side's the positive, this is the negative. So the left side is the positive side. That's easy peasy, but let's figure out the, the distance. Okay, so um, electric field is the opposite of delta V over R. Okay. So how do we do that? Let's see. I guess we have to go, um, have to do this, right? Delta R is going to be the opposite of delta V over E. Do we even need the minus sign? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So let's say that I go to the right, that I displace myself in a positive delta R. Okay. My delta V is going to be, um, my delta V is going to be that I go down 43 volts, right? Because I'm going from positive to negative, right? So I have the opposite of negative 43 volts divided by E, which is to the right. So it's going to be positive 560 uh, volts per meter. Um, I'm trying to decide. I guess, I guess that just means R is to the right, okay? When we get a positive R, ultimately, you just go 43 divided by 560. And I get that R is positive. We went to the right 0 0.07678 meters, which would be uh, 7.68 centimeters. Is the distance separating the plates. But we know that if you go to the right, that you know it all works anyway. Um, so in this case, the minus sign and the vectors and stuff didn't help us too much. All right.